new driving system. The way it works now is uh, similar to before, but with some differences. To start out, let's just cover what is driving system. And to show what it is, we can just fire up any demo character. And we can see that biped rigs come with a few uh, driving system by default. One of them is this fingers controller where we have attributes that will allow you to quickly post the hand. Another set of driving systems are on the face, whereas you get these joystick type controllers over here and moving this controller is essentially affecting a whole bunch of the smaller controllers that are on the face. So it's more of a high level control. And to break it down even further and to make this as simple as possible, let's just create a very basic rig. We'll just type joint, that creates a joint. Type again, create another joint and here we go. Something super simple. We have only four joints and I'll select the top joint and go to the body section here and hit build and they'll build a advanced skeleton and we have a super simple rig. Now let's demonstrate driving systems by adding one and what we can do is we can go straight to the pose that we want the driving system to apply so for example rotating this controller if we want a driving system a single attribute that applies this pose all we need to do is go to the pose section driving system and click create driving system and we can see it's detected what controllers are in the non-default pose in this case just this joint has this amount of rotation and we yes we will choose the default option to create a new controller and to mirror now you can see we get two yellow controllers here and they have attributes to go into that pose so that is the basic simplest driving system setup a controller has an attribute that drives another controller into a certain pose. So I'm going to undo that for now and we're going to show that instead of just driving that rotation, it could be any transform here. You can move it in any three axis, you can rotate, you can scale. And if we now create driving system, you see it detects all the attributes, say OK. We now have the single new attribute when you apply it. It essentially transforms uh, using those values. Okay, so far so good. And this so far is identical to the way that the previous driving systems used to work. And now let's take a look at what's different from the old system. So when it comes to editing the driving system, there's uh, just like before, there's two ways to edit a driving system. One is you can right click, get a list of all driving system and all values. And you can choose to edit from here. The other way, a uh, quick shortcut way, is you can just apply a value on the driving system you want to edit. When that is applied, you can just click the edit button and it's detected which driving system you are intending to edit. Now, what we can see is that if you select this controller, it has animation and the keys are from frame zero to frame 10. Click cancel and go back and have a look at the original driving system. It has a driving value from value zero to value 10. And that is essentially now looking at the key difference of the new system. The new driving system is, has a much closer connection between general animation and set driven key animation. As you can see, we have a driving system with a driving value from zero to 10. If we edit it, we get animation from zero to 10. And you could at this point, you can say, Go to frame minus 10 and by default that's going to translate the opposite and you could modify that if you wanted to so you could say that's going to be a minus 10 value if you now hit apply and you select the driver you can see the range here now ranges from plus 10 to minus 10. so by editing the driving system we are by setting keys here setting the range of the set driven key system and not only that but we are defining the exact behavior of the driving system 
So if you wanted that driving system to have a more complex transition between the values 0 to 10, you can go ahead and add any in-between keys here. And you can make this as complex of an animation as you want at any range that you want. And when you hit apply, it will retain the exact animation, but uh, the input will no longer be the time slider. The input will be the driving system. So you can see we now have a range from minus 10 to plus 10 with this complex animation behavior as we change that driver value. So this can be very useful for complex things like, for example, a bird folding its wing. You might want to have that as a single attribute that is just called wing folding, but the amount of controllers and how they change over time as you apply the wing fold can be quite a complex animation. So this can be very handy. You would just then animate the wing fold and hit create driving system and you instantly get that complex animation as a single attribute that you can drive. Another thing I want to note here is that uh, because the new system is somewhat d a different setup than the old one, if you open a rig that has the old driving system, let's go edit fingers, uh, spread. It pops up, it goes update. The old driving system is detected and to continue, you must update to the new type. Proceed with the update. That will convert the old system to the new system. And we can see that uh, right away that we now have animation that is a representative of what the driving system does. Like us, we can do a quick edit on one of the phase driving systems here to demonstrate that the phase is also driving system. So just as an example, we can do happy. We apply it, a value of 10 to happy. We go over here. You could, again, find that happy controller here by right click, or since we have applied value to happy, we can just hit the button that says edit. And you can see we get instantly that's become animation. And by default, you can see most of the controllers are no longer visible. There's only a few of the controllers that can be seen here. And they are the controllers that have animation. So here we see that the happy smiling driving system is essentially driving this controller to move from 0 to 10 up in the corner. And some blink value is applied. Likewise, these lips are moving slightly upwards. So here you can edit uh, the animation of any of these controllers. Now, if you wanted additional controllers to be involved in the happy driving system, we can do so. So we'll hit cancel. And this time we turn off the checkbox that says show only affected. And then again, we'll apply the happy. This time here we can add more controllers. Uh, and just for illustration, let's do something uh, highly exaggerated just to make sure we see it. So if we wanted happy to include a lot of this cheek bulge, you could select the controller. You see by default, it's going to be connected. The controllers so only need to make the change on one side. They will apply to the other side. So maybe the cheek should really move out, maybe even scale up. Move out, scale up. Now this looks a bit weird, but for it's very exaggerated for that demonstration purpose. If I now hit apply, it tells us, do you wish to edit this driving system to also include these attributes? So it's telling us the addition to the driving system. It's got to be the cheek controllers left and right. Uh, we'll have translate and scale values applied. We hit OK. And we can see we get, as expected, the cheek uh, affected by the driving system. And if we now one more time edit and turn back on show only affected. We edit the control happy. You can see that this time, because now the cheek controller is affected by the driving system. So it is one of the ones that are showing when we edit the happy driving system. And that's it for this little update on the new driving systems. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.